One, two, get down. Paid the cost to be the boss. R R. These are the letters which make you roar, rip you free, make you race. Though classed as a middleweight, this gorgeous Italian bambina moves you like a force of nature. MV Augusta is a motorcycle brand rarely seen and even more rarely owned. Having enjoyed a wonderful reputation through huge racing success, it fell into changing fortunes with ownership passing over a number of times. At one point, it was even owned by Harley Davidson. Bizarre as that union may seem, it did produce a very special progeny, the three-cylinder power plants that delight you with huge Italian brio each moment you ride this bike. That was produced by the thumping V-twin engineers of the famous American brand. We spent a few days together around Dubai. It was spectacularly hot, reaching 50 degrees centigrade during the day with slippery tarmac and tires at their limits. Each ride was a blast, a raughty, rushing, headlong run into fun. There's something about the slightly lean forward position of the spike, with your feet a little tucked back, that makes each gear change seem mischievous and every curve its own little thrill. The Brutale 800RR has a quick shift gear change up and down. It's slick and reliable with a very positive feel. It's worth doing it as often as possible too, because the sound the three cylinders make through its exhaust system is simply intoxicating. It's a crescendo of rasps and gasps, with enough bass to let you know this engine is a big hitter. This is a machine which looks good from afar and even better when intimately held. This beautiful Brutale 800RR is largely hand produced now in Italy. At £16,000 in the UK, it's expensive for an 800cc bike, but it undoubtedly brings a unique aesthetic panache to motorcycling. Its handcrafted three-pipe look is probably its crowning glory, and it's all incredibly well marshaled by an array of electronic aids. Traction control, anti-wheelie, engine mapping modes, everything you'd expect of a powerful and sophisticated bike is here. Fueled by a sensitive and responsive throttle, riding on Pirelli Diablo Rosso tires, suspended by highly tunable Marzocchi forks and a very progressive sax monoshock, the MV Augusta leaves a smile on your face with every turn of its wheel. Partly, the agility of this bike comes from its counter-rotating crankshaft, which minimizes rear wheel inertia and makes changes of direction easier. We were kindly hosted by Wheels of Arabia, with a large, comfortable and hospitable showroom just off Sheikh Zayed Street. They told us about the ambition of the latest owner of MV Augusta, who takes a personal interest in each dealership, is a keen biker, and looks for loads of feedback as they develop their latest models. The enthusiasm coursing through the brand is palpable, and manages to invest the rider with a great sense of adventure and ambition too. Tell me, if this was an animal, what would the, um, the Brutale 800 RR be? Uh, I'd definitely compare it to a panther or a leopard as you want to call it, yeah. uh, a black leopard because I'd say first of all the beauty and the lines of the bike are amazing. I would be thinking something like a black panther. Right. It's, it's obviously again we are not in the 1000cc naked bike category mm -hmm. uh, but we have super agile, really light bike and uh, I would say quite aggressive bike. It's extremely strong and agile for the animal, it's the same as a motorcycle although it's a medium size bike it's still got a lot of uh, power and push it and does. lightness to the motorcycle that will you know related to the actual animal that's yeah. what i experienced <laughs> black panther around dubai it's yes. been fun <laughs> mad about? Well, if you're thinking this bike is a commuter, it may not be the best if you do much filtering. Although the steering damper gives you a lot of reassurance at speed, it seems to lead to a remarkably wide turning circle. It's tricky to get between lanes and cars. 
It's also fair to say that in contrast to all the other gorgeous bits of kit on the bike, its switch gear is a bit rudimentary and the console is really not visually engaging at all. The guys at Wheels of Arabia both thought this bike was a black panther for its agility and power. But we disagree. More than anything, this is a beautiful bike with a remarkably sweet voice. To us, it's nothing short of a nightingale gleefully singing its own tune.